Good morning, good evening, night. Eagle MMA family. These are the most American UFC fighters. Right, so let's get right into this. Uh, wanted to make this video, the most American UFC fighters, to commemorate our amazing veterans, our amazing hardworking uh, blue-collar workers, all the engineers, the construction workers, um, in honor of our glorious American holiday, the 4th of July, which was the exact day in 1776 where we gained our independence from those disgusting, lord, idiot scumbags, the British. Huh, yeah, the British. F you. Sorry, I got some Irish blood in me, and I just watched a documentary on the IRA and how it was suppressed by Britain. Hey, hey you're not slick, Britain. Nobody likes you. Hey, there's a reason why... Hey, there's immigrants in this video. It's not just, you know, born and bred American. There's real immigrants in this video, okay? There's a reason they come here and not your shithole country. So, hey, let's get right into this. Starting with arguably the most black. No, no, the most black American fighter. His name is Derek Lewis. I forgot a few hours before the fight, Donald Trump called me. They told me I got knocked this Russian out because they're making him look bad on the news. You know, him and Putin, they're talking about USA in this hole. USA up in this hole. I mean, could you honestly find a better representative for the average black American in today's world? I mean, he's absolutely perfect. He's fat as hell. He's got tiny little calves, and he's got the craziest power you've ever seen. He's a convicted, uh... He's a convicted, he's been to prison. Are you USA up in this hole, right? If you honestly, if you haven't done any jail time, you haven't been arrested once or twice, you haven't been in trouble with the law, you're kind of a pussy, honestly, and you're not American at all. Real Americans have dealt with the law. And speaking of the law, he laid down the law on that dirty Russian scumbag for Daddy Trump. Put that fucking belt on his desk. We're getting into the next one. Colby motherfucking Covington. I've been absolutely raging at all these anti-American, anti-Trump, left-wing fascist cucks that have been just pissing all over Colby Covington. Hey, we all love Colby Covington when he's being funny, but as soon as he doesn't win a fight because his opponent is being too boring and not throwing anything, that's when we all turn on the American patriot who, sir, who fucking supports the fuck out of our boys in blue and our boys in green. You are quite literally anti-American if you are not pro Colby Covington. He quite literally put the USC welterweight title on Daddy Trump's desk. What are you, bro, come on, this isn't a competition here. Right, but we'll get into the next one, right? I said we were going to be talking about some immigrants here. And uh, maybe illegal, maybe illegal, who knows. Um, Henry Cejudo. Another great, great champion. Another great champion, Henry Cejudo, who is one of the best in the world. And Henry, please stand. The most upstanding immigrant I've ever seen in the U.S. today. Absolutely hardworking Hispanic American. Perfectly embodies the Speedy Gonzalez stereotype. Little tiny little, uh, little tiny little chaparrito just grinding the fuck. Just grinding the fuck. Okay, I realized that sounded gay, but uh, just grinding, just a grinder. I can't make that not sound gay, um, but that's exactly what he is. And the entire reason I'm putting him in this video is a quote I saw him say. I'll put it on screen right now. My message today, guys, it's as, as a Latino American, because first, first and foremost, I'm American. I was born in this country. I was raised in this country. And you guys will never see me as much as I love my culture, too. You guys will never see me with the, with the Mexican flag. I'm not Mexican. I have Mexican heritage, but I am American. That is the, that might be one of the proudest moments I've ever been as an American. Hearing an immigrant say that, saying that, yeah, I have Mexican heritage, but I am American. My children are American. We are American. That quite literally gives me like goosebumps up and down that that a, an immigrant in this day and age would truly see America for how great it is and how much better it is than that shithole Mexico. Come on, are we going to pretend like Mexico is a fucking safe haven, bro? Like it's run by the cartel. The cartel is more powerful than the fucking Mexicans entire government, bro. They run the government. Right, but speaking of immigrants, we're going to the next immigrant of the US, a very recent immigrant and maybe one of my favorites of all time. His name is Hanato Moy 
God, no. Yes, he may be Brazilian. Yes, he may have lived 30-something years in Brazil. But guess what? For the small amount of time he's lived in America, he has absolutely made me a fan of how much a fan he is of America. This is disrespect. I took a fight, five-round fight in four days' notice. Short day notice. I was drinking beer, eating steaks in Brazil. And they call me, and I come here. I travel 24 hours. Disrespect me. I want bonus. My colonel wants money. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. Drinking beer and eating steak and then flying on, like, a day's notice to go fight one of the top fucking fighters in the world. That is like, oh, that's Russian as hell. What? That's Chinese as hell. You're fucking stupid. That's the most American shit I've ever heard eating beer, drinking beer, and eating steaks, and then fighting someone on, like, a fucking day's notice. Dude, that's crazy. And not only that, but his old dad having a, having a, a baby at, like, 70-something years old. That's American as fuck. Fertility, that's an American thing. And supports the fuck out of the American economy, and our boys in blue. He said he is going to be a SEAL Team 6 fucking operator when he's done being a fighter. That is quite literally, so you want to hear that from 99.8% of true Americans that have been here the whole fucking time. He's an immigrant who's a fighter. He's made enough money where he can do what he wants, and he wants to be a spec ops, dude. That's patriotic as fuck. I'm honestly so proud to be an American in this day and age. Make sure you drop some American flags and you like and comment and subscribe if you're watching this video right now. And you're a real American. You don't even have to be American. Not only Kano's an American patriot, okay? Drop some fucking likes, comments, whatever the fuck. But we'll get into the next one on this list. Um, My favorite, my favorite American fighter. Um, His name is Bryce Mitchell. Come on, dude. He's the classic. Bryce Mitchell is the classic farmer boy stereotype. You know, listen, he's got some crazy views, he's got some crazy ideas, you know, Antarctic ice wall, you know, world is flat and everything, gravity isn't real, a lot of crazy things, but, but that's the thing, that's what makes him American, that's what makes him American, okay, he has differing views, that yeah, they might be a little crazy, but a lot of the things he says are true, the Hawaii disaster, hey, he was speaking some truth on that, right, and he's the perfect example of our blue, our low-level blue-collar workers, like truck drivers and everything. He's the perfect embodiment. He's from, like, South fucking North Carolina or some shit, like, South Dakota. What are these, like, shitholes that no one cares about, dude, where, like, you have to do... Like, listen, dude, California, New York, Florida, you can kind of do anything. You can kind of do anything. These shitholes, like, uh, 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 fucking Vermont. Like, what the fuck are you going to do in Vermont, bro? Like, you got to do something, bro. Right, and he took that, he, don't even, he doesn't even fucking train. He doesn't even train for his fights. He doesn't even have, like, a nutritionist. He's got, like, total fucking farmer fat, which is, like, it's not bad fat or anything. It's good fat, but, like, not, a, you know, he should be fighting at 135. He's got full-on farmer fat, and his whole fucking camp is just him lifting fucking, you know, cinder blocks to make a chicken coop or some shit like that, dude. And we obviously know this. America was built off of farming, right? Tobacco cotton, whatever it was, America was built off farm and trade, and he's the farmer, right, but we'll get onto the last one on this list, and here's the thing, I'll put him on this list because he does resemble uh, a certain American stereotype, but I'm really starting to fall off of his, uh, you know, American patriotism train, uh, his name is Sean Strickland, obviously a Cali native, couldn't be more American than that. You cannot be more American than being born and raised in California. That's as American as it gets. California's the greatest state in the greatest nation of all time. Like quite literally, we're, we're the th fourth highest GDP in the world, more than entire continent, a state. Like what? Right, but I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious, right? You know, gun owner, this like pro uh, free speech and everything, anti- other things that maybe I can't really get into on in this channel or anything because I'm already, I mean, tr dude, tr tr trust me. I'm already fucking shadow banned to, to the dick, dude. I, I bro, I say anything. I, I, I say anything and I get dicked down. But he's got some pretty American values on some things I can't really uh, talk about. Obviously, you know, he's crying on camera and everything and is, you know, being like a little, like, certified lover boy to, like, Nina Drama. And, like, no, she's like a sister to me. Like, what? She's like a sister to you, bro? Bro, I'm not buying it. And obviously, you know, you know, 
He's pro-Trump. Okay, come on, dude. He's pro-Trump. And he's not pro-Trump and like all his values and everything, but he's pro-Trump because he's funny. And I'd honestly rather have that. I'd honestly rather have someone who's pro-Trump because he's funny and he's interesting rather than someone who's pro-Trump because of his politics. But listen, that's going to have to end it uh, for this video. I'm so glad I was able to make this video. I'm so proud to be a fucking goddamn American fucking patriot. I fucking love America. I can say whatever I want. Hey, all you, hey, all you non-America tarts, all you non-America cells, hey, try criticizing your government. Try it, dude, try it. I'll say it right now, Biden, I'm not going to say it, not going to say it, because that'll get my video fucked up. But I dare any one of you to uh, criticize your own government. Say something they don't want you to uh, to say. Maybe be an investigative journalist and see what happens. Or if you know you live in Canada or Britain or somewhere that's like civilized or something, you know, try um, using copyrighted music in a video that you made for your dead friend who died in a car crash. Real story that happened in Britain. But listen, if you're an American patriot, you don't have to be American to be an American patriot. If you are an American patriot, drop a fucking American flag. Sh respect our boys in blue. Can I just say this? Can I just say this? Can I take a moment to respect our boys in blue, our soldiers, our hardworking blue collar workers, the engineers? Hey, yeah, America is built on business, man. It's built on trade and it's also built off work. The electricians, the engineers, the plumbers, everything, bro, the truckers, okay? I just want to take this moment to thank all of you for making America what it is today. And hey, we can make America great again. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Do you uh, agree? Do you disagree? Obviously, you have to agree. If you disagree, you're anti-America. And quite frankly, you're anti-world and anti-human and anti-basically everything that isn't good. Um, so, hey, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching. Ego me out. Hey, Young Lean? Are you Young Lean? What? Are you Young Lean? Mm. No, I'm Barry Dillon. Mm. Uh,